And we're gonna begin the Trackmania Grand League, step 5, right here, with Viola on the microphone and on the steering wheel. As you can see, we're gonna start with Contest Diving, which was map 6 of step 4. A map that I didn't really like too much, but now that this is the first map and in the first map you cannot lose your points, it was a bit more comfortable to play. But yeah, um, I didn't really feel very well going into the step. I was very tired for some reason. Um, I don't know why, actually. I just felt very tired. So I was kind of hoping that going into the match, the adrenaline is going to kick in and make me perform. Which is normally the case. Normally when I start playing in a competition, I find myself in the zone. Yeah, I find myself in the zone. And usually I I perform like it's not really a not really a problem. So I was hoping the same is going to happen for step five here as well. We have three of the old maps from step four being replayed and three new tracks. We're going to play six maps as a result in total with six laps per map. And starting from map four onwards, you will lose your points if you get ninth or worse. So this track. Pretty difficult to survive a lot of parts that you can fuck up but then again with with less pressure i thought it might be a bit easier to get into this so uh yeah fingers crossed for map one we have uh, only 14 players by the way you can see on the left side two players are actually missing we're only 14 drivers on the scoreboard two drivers are missing you can maybe guess who it is it is carl jr who is actually not playing this time due to connection issues. And also Marcin, who has connection issues. Again, similar issues to step one, I think. So he wasn't able to join the server. I think Carl Jr. didn't have any problems at all. And step one has started, or map one has started with something that completely threw me off already. Look at my car. Why am I driving the Uruguay car skin? All of a sudden. What is this shit? All of a sudden my car skin was gone. And I drive Uru. Like. What is that? A few seconds ago. Everything was fine. Look at that. I was driving my normal car skin. Everything was good. And then we go into the warm up splash screen. I write my GLHF. I turn off the chat. And all of a sudden. I'm a citizen of Uruguay. So I was like, what the fuck is going to happen? I thought my game completely bugged out. And I was expecting weird things to happen. I really expected that, I don't know, the script is going to die. I really thought we're going to run into some technical problems. Because Marcin already couldn't connect to the server. Now I lose my skin for some reason. So I was already prepared and mildly confused about what was happening. So I was like, what the hell? This was quite uh, distracting, to be quite honest with you, because the car skin is kind of a visual cue for you as well. Like, with the colors and everything. It's it's very low-key, but you still kind of pay attention to it. And the car skin helps. But uh, all of a sudden, my car skin was different. And I had to drive with this. Like, you can't just stop and ask for a pause or some shit. Like, you actually had to drive with this. So I had, to, I had to actually get used to this, first of all. And I haven't really played this track ever since the last step. But I was like, yeah, gonna wing it somehow. I know how to save and I know how to drive this one. So I was just trying to wing it here. And lap one didn't look that trash altogether. Bit of a wonky beginning. Very safe here down the landing, but sixth place after lap one, not bad. How did I become so good at the game? I'm playing for almost 12 years. But yeah, good is relative, I suppose. Also, is the recording laggy? It looks kind of looks kind of choppy. I'm using a different media player now because people were laughing at me for using this Windows media player thingy. Now I use media player classic. Is it choppy or is it fine? I actually have no clue. Because for me, it's fine. If it's fine for you, then we're going to keep this. But if not, I'm going to switch to the other one. Got in a bend. Oh. 
So here you can see me scoring. And you might have been distracted, but I crashed on the inside because of the gear. So that was already a bit of a meh start into the second lap with the mistake on the inside. Not good. Already 1.4 seconds down. But yo, Nirik, thank you for the reset, man. I did go for the wall bang uh, intentionally in the right hander. I did drift it in step four because the wall bang does come with some risks, and I think it actually fucked up spam at least. And maybe some other players as well. Risky landing here as well. I was pushing it a bit too far left. But uh, yeah, anyway, that wall bang was something that I was willing to risk in this step because it was only map one, so I was like, yeah. The wall bank saves quite a bit, so I could very much make use of that little extra time. So I went for the wall bank, and so far it, it did go fine. Prospect Warrior 17, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, man. Welcome. Enjoy the emotes. My skin was visible in the casts? Okay. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I think this is just some really weird bug with the game. I have never had this before. I have never seen my car skin just change in the middle of nowhere, but eh. It's Trekmania after all. Can't be surprised about anything anymore. The race was still hot though. We're now in lap 3 and we were pretty close again. Step 4 was already very close on this map with very close battles. And seems like that trend also continued here. That bug slide was pretty decent, up to 6, passing Coco and Orel, very close here. That landing also extremely dangerous, I was, yeah, maybe pushing it a bit too much there. And normally, even if I want to risk, that's not one of the parts where I would risk on this track. But yeah, this, this whole start into the match was weird. With the car skin changing, with me feeling a bit off, but uh, yeah, so far so good. Let's keep going. So the pace was there. I haven't lost too much time towards the others. Of course the others do pull away a little bit, but I was able to keep up for the most part. And I've had that one mistake in lap 2, I think, with the wall bang on the inside. Zoop, another successful wall hit, pretty good one here as well. Kept my gear in the drift, that was a very good section. I'm pretty sure I caught up. This entire part was pretty good. And then we go into the bug slide, and this already looks scary, right? This already looks like, holy shit, that ain't it, chief. But uh, I was able to save it. Even though my exit was suboptimal. But I was able to save it. I was very, very far left. But I knew that as long as I have good speed, I'm going to get around the corner. Even if I have to slightly adjust my steering, it'll be fine. So uh, that was good. Shine straight. Thank you for the reset. Really and sparkling water with 100 bits. Thank you. All right, moving on with our lives here. This right-hander is really, really weird. You can see my line is very off. Also here, the dirt, super safe. Super, super safe. But lap 5, and I'm still in the mix for a decent position. Maybe a double-digit score at the end of the map. So, gotta keep going. Not the greatest drift. Wall was too high as well. So, my driving was very shaky. At many parts, I was saving too much. I was really trying to stay away from the walls. And that is maybe not the best choice. I was playing it too safe. Now 2.7 seconds down. Second to last bug slide. Jumped a bit too far, but... The speed outcome is what matters, and I had that good. You want to let yourself get dragged out onto the outside, onto the blue section. Landing bug. That was a massive cuck going into the final lap. I got passed by Pack, who took advantage from that. So Pack now passed me for 7th place. I got the land bug because I landed on that blue, uh, blue edge 
can maybe go back and oh my god take a look at it so i landed on the blue line and that was what made me lose a lot of speed and on this long stretch you're so fast so if you get a land bug you have no speed at all and i have lost a shit ton of time with that another touch there with my back tire i was able to save it though by no sliding up the hill so the time loss wasn't that crucial also they're super close to touching so here i kind of lost it for a short moment But gotta keep it, gotta keep it straight here. Lower gear drift, very bad. But I just wanted to get it home here. Wall bang, check. Drift, lost my gear, too tight. All good though. Gotta survive the bug slide for one more time. 4.5 seconds down, I had pack in front of me. I knew maybe with a good bug slide, which I got, I could pass pack, and I did. So I was ahead of pack by uh, almost 0.3 of a second. But then I saved it too much, and pack passed me by 600, no, 800 of a second. Very nice. You can maybe take a look at it again. Here, I was behind pack. Good bug slide. And here I was uh, ahead of pack. You can see the position change in the interface. My name moves up and pack moves down. Nice. So the gap was one uh, was 26 hundredths of a second. So I was like, cool, I passed pack. Very nice. People are going to pog in the chat. But then I saved this way too hard. I got some sort of nose dive and then I got passed again. So map one ends with me taking eighth. Bren wins with a very solid 804. That is a good time. Tween 0.2 behind. Papu 0.4 behind. So at the top we have sick times. Scrappy took uh, fourth. And I had a massive lag spike here as well. You, you notice it. Like I didn't do anything. It was just a massive fucking lag spike. And I was actually putting up the task manager to kill my game and restart it real quick. But then my game kind of found its found its way back to being alive and I uh, complained about my car skin changing it was really really weird but yeah we have Scrappy on 4, Spam on 5 Masa 6, Pack 7, Me 8 Coco 9, Orel 10 Revo on 11, Kappa 12 Roll in 13 and Matt got last um, so yeah that was an interesting map 1 we're gonna skip to the next track which is Just Skidding Gonna skip the warm up here because nobody cares. A map that I felt confident with. Definitely not bad nice. of a map for me. I knew that as long as I could avoid making mistakes, I am gonna be somewhere at the top, in the top five or something. So confidence was there for this one. Also, Hofi, thank you for continuing your gifts up and giving one away to the community. Thank you very much. So we're kicking off, just skidding, with the dirt full speed identity in the end. Going through the triangles, zig and zag and zig, pretty safe. Jumping to the left, that was alright, drift to the right, not bad, and everyone, or almost everyone, was up for a good start, like, everyone uh, was going at it. Coming up to the first, out of six identities, it is me on uh, six going into it, and that was not bad, I was quite happy with this, but for some reason, it was only fifth. But only 2800s behind, so the battle was very, very tight coming out of lap 1. 
Must have been quite good to spectate this from an outside perspective. Bit wide here. Very awkward part, to be honest. Surviving the triangles once again. That was better. A bit more speed through that part. Could have gone a bit higher up the banking. So I had to release. Uh, I mean, not release. I mean, uh, air brake. I had to air brake a bit later. Otherwise, I would have maybe hit the freewheel. Which is not what you want. Good drift to the left. A lot of speed. And a lot of speed there is actually quite scary because sometimes you bounce after the landing and you cannot slow down in time and I want to be really safe with the entry into the identity I really wanted to be at my at my usual 120 to 130 kilometers an hour threshold so whenever I've had a bit of a different approach with either more or less speed than normal it was a bit weird but so far I survived and the pace is looking quite good. Lap 3 now. Very far left. And bonk. However, quite a good save. This could have gone a lot worse. But my entire setup was a bit bad. And I hit the checkpoint with my back end. But all in all. Still in the race. Still in the race for some okay points. But a mistake that shouldn't have happened, and I wasn't too happy about this. This was really scary. Because I was in the upper gear. So we're coming up to this again. And I've had a very weird bounce at the landing. Not sure if you noticed that, but my landing was... Very weird. Wait, look at it. Like, look. My front tires went up really awkwardly. And because of this, I wasn't able to slow down enough. So I stayed in the upper gear, going into the dirt section, which is not what I wanted. I want to be in the lower gear, so I get the gear change inside of a corner. Which isn't the fastest, but it is a very reliable strategy for the section. But I had the upper gear. And this was, I think, the first time that I survived this upper gear turn, ever. Neither in practice, nor in the race, I have had this, but now I survived. So that was fucking swag. I was surprised that I made this. Because I have not practiced the approach using the upper gear. I think we can all agree I got lucky as shit that I survived this somehow. But hey, gotta keep going. Two players are missing, yeah. Carl Jr. and Martin. So I was fifth after having made the mistake at the triangles. This was so surprising. After everyone's really good beginning, people started to make mistakes. This was an absolutely horrendous drift. But yeah, that's better than risking this upper gear turn. Good speed here. And still fifth. So players are starting to fall apart on this one. Multiple mistakes have already happened. And I, despite being surprised, I take it. I take every position that I can get, yeah? I am not gonna complain. This was a bit scary, I had to adjust my line quite a bit. You saw I went uh, quite far to the left and to the right, but I survived and even went up to fourth in the process. So one of the players who were in front of me, I didn't pay attention who it was, dropped down and gave me the fourth spot. So I was four and a half seconds down and I was fourth. Needless to say, the level on this track was rather ass. Another really awkward lane. Like, th this threw me off completely. Again, 
shit landing and I died. Like, I couldn't improvise anymore. Look at this landing. I still have the correct line. Don't get me wrong. This is still my mistake. But it really, really cooked me. So I had to respawn. Made a sex to the left wall there as well. And from 4th to 8th, we go in an instant. Amazing. So there was nothing to be gained anymore. The next best player was 3 seconds ahead. And Kappa, who was behind me, was a whole second away. So I had to settle with this. Which pissed me off. Because my performance already wasn't that good. I have already made one mistake. And that fourth place would have kind of made it a bit better. But then I made another mistake. And now I went down to eighth. That was frustrating. But yeah, I think the problem is this line in mania planet 4 they have changed the checkpoint block on road and on platform before there was no black mesh on the ground you only had like nothing yeah and for some reason mr designer from nadeo headquarter decided to put a black mesh to indicate the checkpoint However, like, this itself isn't bad. However, what is bad is that this mesh is apparently elevated by one pixel or something. So whenever you happen to hop over it, the car sometimes has a stroke. And then things like this happen. This is not good. And in, in case you didn't know about this, some full speed tracks have actually been rendered unplayable because of this because this one pixel elevation change causes an auto slide at higher speeds because it essentially works like a bump yeah one pixel is enough for the car to fly to saturn to fly to the next environment yeah so that is bad and i think this is the reason for those inconsistent landings at that landing. At that part. Fucking shit. Not good. If anyone from Nadeo is listening, this is bad. Anyway. Map 2 is ending. We have Bren who wins again. So Bren is on fire. And he is about to get himself the slot into the playoffs. Two wins in a row. And best lap time. This is a miracle. For Bren. Papu, another second place, really good. Tween gets uh, third. Spam on four, Massa on five, Orel on six. I got seventh, miraculously, with an 11.8 second deficit. So, I would dare to say that everyone under this line, everyone under top three played like ass. Yeah? Because times. In this range, let's take a look at spam. This is a 646. And with a 646, you wouldn't... I'm not sure if you'd have, you would have been top 8 last time. So, the times were atrocious by every single one of us down here. For some reason, yeah? Today was just a weird day. And I also pointed that out here. Man, we were slow today. Must I be like, yo? But yeah. Moving on with map 3, Wavebreaker. Skipping the warm up again. Because, yes. What's happened with Carl Jr.? He has internet problem. He sadly wasn't able to play. So, map number 3. This one was map 4 in step 4. And. I like this one. I'm not bad on this one. But it's quite a punishing track as well. One mistake can really kill you. 
but I was off to a good start. I was leading after the first couple corners. So I could have maybe redeemed myself for the not so good map one and map two. So we're off to a smooth beginning here with Riolo TM Trackmania. Up the jump we go. Not the greatest landing. Down to fifth. But it doesn't matter because it's the first lap. Everyone's close. This is the identity. We have the three wavy jumps. Released too much, landed too early. But as long as you don't lose your gear or as long as you're not forced to adjust your line five billion times after the landing, you should be fine to make them. So obviously a bit of a time loss. I dropped down to eighth. Which meant that a lot of drivers were off to a smooth lap one. But yeah, gotta keep going. Down the hill we go. Bit of a shitty transition there. And I noticed that I drifted out too wide here. That left hand drift, for some reason today it didn't. I, I wasn't able to hit my line. I constantly drifted too late and I ended up going too wide. Which isn't bad because it ensured that I'm going to have enough speed for the jump afterwards. But too much speed is also not good because you jump too far. You kind of want to nail down the sweet spot for speed and I haven't gotten that sadly. So here I had to resort to a very left jump as well. Ideally you want to jump very straight and land as early as possible with a lot of speed. But yeah, this was much better. Butter smooth into the first one, butter smooth into the second one, and butter smooth into the third one. So that was decent. And we go into lap three. I think I was like sixth or something. Seventh. So this wasn't bad. And things can still happen as we're only halfway through the map. I agree, it's really, it's a, it's a really satisfying uh, identity when you really get those smooth landings down. But it's punishing as well. It might look easier than it is, because you don't really have a lot of visual cues. You kind of need to feel how much speed you need and where you need to jump, what angle you need to jump in. It's, it's definitely not easy. This was fucking terrible. Steer too late. But yeah, somewhere throughout the map... Oh god, that landing. Monka W, man. Somewhere throughout the first three maps, my vision started to blur a little bit. Like, I really didn't feel... It's not like I felt dizzy or something, but I just couldn't focus. I couldn't focus. My vision got slightly blur... Like, here also. That was so fucking scary. That was so fucking scary. I barely made it over that barrier. And it's not like I was under any pressure. I felt no pressure at all going into the step because... When you think about it, if you follow the Trackmania Grand League, I'm pretty much safe in the playoffs no matter what happens. So even if I lose my points or even if I... I don't know, just don't get much points, it's, it's fine. Like, it's not gonna matter. So, with that in mind, the pressure level wasn't that high, so that's definitely not the, re not the reason why I felt ass. I think it was just a bad day. Ate too much? Could have been- Yo, actually, that could have been. I've had a massive dinner before we started. Yeah, that could have been. Maybe I ate too much. Maybe I need to not eat anything next time. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that, that could be. Because I felt tired. I had dinner at like 6.30. And starting at 7. I started to feel tired. So maybe it was the digesting process that made me go. To, I don't know man. Does that make sense? Maybe it does. But yeah, whatever. Lap 5. Staying in the top 8. Not that it matters for this, but... Yes. 
It makes sense. Yeah, I guess it does. Next time I'm not gonna eat. That was a no. juicy nose dive here. That is kind of how you ideally want it. Oh my god, Mr. Trolly Moly. Nice. Dude, you're mental. Look at you. Five gift subs, man. Thank you. Nice. Thank you so much, Mr. Trolly Moly. Much love. Why is it not the pog alert? Because uh, the gift sub alerts, they're different. Nice. There are different alerts for gift subs and for resubs slash gifted subs slash normal subs. Nice. Alright, passing the identity once again. We have uh, myself on fifth place. Nice meme. Uh, we have Tween who dropped down. Tween who got that red arrow. So apparently he dropped down. Good for me. Up to fifth. I'm not gonna complain. You never used to eat at least one hour before matches. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to avoid that next time, Fergie. But generally, like I start to feel tired around 7 p.m. every like always. I don't know what it is. I'm getting old now, nah, perhaps. Perhaps, dude. But yo, uh, I'm fifth here, by the way. Coming up to the last jump. And I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that I got 5th, or that I was 5th here. Because I didn't really feel like I was driving very well. But I guess my pace was just enough to survive. And 4th? I put cars on here. And for some reason Spam's car skin was really, really broken. And some other people's car skins were also really broken. Um, I don't know why. But I guess that also explains why my car skin changed to motherfucking Uruguay on map 1. So I almost killed Spam here. Only 400s behind. I smelled his butthole. But I wasn't able to pass him. So a 4th place, a very good position here on map 3. Surprise. But I'll take it. Very good. It's called sleep deprivation. Nah, nah, nah. I'm sleeping. I'm, I may be sleeping too much, actually. Lately. But yeah, anyway, we see Roland, who is trying to finish backwards, but he's not going to make it. Papu wins with a 751. So that is actually almost two seconds slower than what they drove in uh, step four. So a slight downgrade here in uh, terms of times. But the runs were still close. Scrappy. On second, spam on third, me on fourth. Uh, I actually PB'd. I think this is my six lap PB. If I recall correctly, it's somewhere around the range of my PB. That's uh, all I know. So, in hindsight, good performance by me. Pack on five, Revo on six, Orel on seven, Tween on eight, Bren, Kappa, Masa, Coco, Matt, and Roland. And the points are gonna look as follows going into the break and going into. The phase of the Grand League where points can be lost. So here's where the fiesta begins. And at the moment it is Papu who is leading the step with 48 points. He's starting to look really good. We have uh, Bren, one point behind. Tween, 32. Scrappy, 31. Spam, 31. Me with 23. Considering that I haven't played that well on map 1 and map 2. 23 points. In the backpack, going into the part that matters is not too bad. With 23 points, I could definitely work with. Pack 22, Masa 21, Orel 20, Revo 16, Coco 13, Kappa. Again, slow. Like, Kappa is really, uh, really slow sometimes. We have uh, him with only, quote-unquote, 12 points. Matt with 11, Roland with 6. And then we have uh, Eric Holdahl and Marius 89. 
who are in the scoreboard because two champions are missing. And yeah, map four, one of the new maps, one of the three new maps. Now, this is Free Spirit by Link. The first time we see a Link map in the first season of the Trackmania Grand League. And uh, this one has a kind of a speed tech touch to it. It has some faster drifts. It has a bit of dirt and an identity that is weird. You will see. My mindset for this track was good and healthy. I was originally questioning myself whether I'm going to perform on this track due to the fact that it's so much tech and I'm not the greatest drifter. I think all of you know that. Um, however, in the last days of practice, I really started to pick up a solid pace in uh, terms of like good times and also good consistency. I've had a personal best 6 lap time of uh, 8.41 which is very good for me, for my standards. I think the fastest known 6-lapper was an 8.39 by Papu, which is a massive fucking question mark. But here's where the identity begins. So you have the option between turning around by uh, using a drift or by just respawning. Turning around is faster, which is why I go for it. It obviously comes with a lot more risk. But it is faster on the long run because you do carry more speed up this entire freewheel part. So freewheel means that your uh, engine shuts off until you reach the next checkpoint. And uh, yeah. Essentially, the more speed you carry into that section, the more you can also keep. And that is why I am opting for the turnaround. Many others have actually gone for the respawn. More people than I thought have actually gone for the respawn. Uh, from what I've heard after I completed the step. So that was interesting. But I felt confident with the turnaround, so I just kept going for it. One strat that I didn't go for, because this whole day was weird and I wasn't confident, is a side ramp. You have the option to side ramp roughly at this white Trackmania logo on the ramp, to land very early on the platform and to kind of auto-drift into the right-hander. It is faster, not by a lot, and I have pretty much consistently done it in practice. Um, and I was planning on doing it today, but considering I didn't feel like it, I didn't want to risk it. Because I've already had, like, I have 23 points, which is a good amount to work with. So I really didn't want to bottle it by just doing the side ramp. On another day, I probably would have done it. I might do this in step 6, but today I didn't feel like it. Next turnaround, not the greatest either, but it's good. Going around the corners. And yeah, you can clearly see, not only Spam's car skin is fucked, but also Revo or Tween. Yeah, Tween's car skin is also broken. Can you explain how the scoring works now? Starting from map 4, so map 4, 5 and 6, if you place 9th or lower, you will lose every single point. Harsh, but that's the rules. So every point that you got before will be deleted. And you only get the points that are respected for the position you uh, end up with. So let's say I get 10th here, hypothetic uh, hypothetically spoken. I lose every single point. No matter if I have 60 points, 10, 15, 38, I lose all of them. And I only get the points that are worth for 10th place. Which is, I think, 4. Why is it only for these maps? I don't know. To generate hype. Or something. Deja vu. I have been in this place before. <laughs> that was close. You guys remember you guys remember step one? Fucking pixel perfect. 
Pixel perfect turnaround. I have steered too early and I had to adjust my line. And my adjustment was just enough to get it. It was so fucking close. I lost so much time with this because I had to readjust. But holy fucking shit, I almost pooped my pants and I almost flushed down my 23 points already. So as a result, I got passed by Revolution, which wasn't a big surprise. But as long as I'm in the green, we all good. So that kind of ruined my race here. This mistake cost me way, way too much time. There was no way I could have caught that up. And yeah, now I could have started to go for side ramps or some shit, but no. Even though I'm safe in the playoffs, I don't want to be stupid. So just got to keep going and stay where I am. What I notice when I look at these vaults is that I check my HUD way too often. I need, like, I need to stop this. I check my HUD every third second. Like, I never do that in practice. Like, in practice, I don't give a flying fuck. Of course, now it's more important, but I check it, I check it way too much, man. I don't know. I'm so paranoid. I'm so paranoid about my pace. I don't know. Yeah, in practice, I sometimes play HUD off, or often I play HUD off, and I put HUD on sometimes, but not this often. Th this is... I don't know, man. I need to stop doing this. It distracts me way too much. It's not active distraction, I guess it's passive distraction to some extent, if that makes any sense. Like, it takes another brain cell to turn on that interface, to move the finger to hit the button, right? But I could also use that brain cell. Like, I don't have a lot to begin with, but I could use that one brain cell that's responsible for my finger to focus on my fucking driving. But I guess that will come with time, the more I play. Solid turn around here, good speed. Thought maybe I'm gonna snack someone here. Also, not too bad here, around the corner. And ideally, at the checkpoint, you want to end up with roughly 130 speed. 128 to 130. Or if you happen to get above 130, you're great. But uh, yeah, this was good. And I passed Revel. My D12 record got beaten. Knew about it? Yeah, yeah. But I can't put too much time into Nadeo hunting right now. Realu, hug Hog Town. I'm gonna start hunting more after Grand League again. So what's coming up now, obviously still playoffs for the Grand League and also uh, Lyon Esport with the other tournament that's running. A lot of work for me to do in February. Gonna be a very busy month. Um, but after that I think I can devote more time to hunting records again. Destruction, thank you for the resub. 23 months. Almost the two years, man. Let's go. Thank you for your loyalty. Have you tried playing with HUD on permanently? I used to do that uh, earlier. Like, way, way earlier. When I started playing competitively. Oh, this was super shaky. Holy shit, man. I almost pooped my pants. So I was looking backwards to see if Revel is going to pass me, but was good. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was an idea that I had, but I think 
with HUD on all the time, I'm gonna be even more distracted. So I'm not sure if I wanna try that. But yeah, map 4 ends. We have Papu who gets 20.8, 22.60. And if you uh, remember what I said about my fastest 6 lap PB, it was almost a good second faster. And I did drive multiple 8.21s. So this was doable on paper. But yeah, too many mistakes. Uh, so I ended up with a 8.25. Not the greatest, but I kept my points. That's all that matters. Tween, second. Spam, third. Massa, fourth. So Massa with some big points here as well. The German uh, trio, actually. Massa, myself, and Revolution, four, five, and six. That's beautiful. Aurel on seven. Scrappy on eight. And then we have the point lossers being uh, Pack, minus 22. Matt, minus 11. Coco, minus 13. Bren, minus 47. That is a big, big setback for Bren who was doing really well, who won two maps, and now he lost his points. That's how harsh the point system is, guys. And, uh, yeah, you might argue whether this is fair or not, but, uh, yeah. Kappa losing his points, and Roland as well, but Roland didn't practice. He saw the maps for the first time today, so... Roland definitely gonna be uh, down in the scoreboard. And we have uh, Eric Holdahl, who gets another DNF. Very sad. Let's move on to uh, the standings here. We have Papu, who now seals his lead with 22 points of a gap down to Tween. 68 points for Papu. This is massive. This is huge. Papu was third, or is third at the moment. With the 68 points that he has... He would actually go up to second, I think, temporarily in, this, in, the, in the league ranking. So Papu with a lot of uh, points here. 68, Tween, 46, also big boy points. Spam, 43, big boy points. Scrappy, big boy points. Masa, 33, me, 32. So we have quite some points to work with here on the left-hand side of the scoreboard. Aurel, 27, Revo, 24, also good for Revolution. I was happy about that. I even uh, cheered for him here. Yo, uh, Revo, Vitazo. I was like, yeah, keep going, man. Revo... Who didn't play a very good season so far. Um, yeah, trying to cheer him up a little bit. Then we have uh, the others who lost their points. Next map. We have Zeppelin by MD Points. Objectively, a very cool track. But I struggled a lot with this. My confidence wasn't the greatest on this one. Unfortunately, this one is filled with bugs. Um, I will show you where. But this track is extremely ruthless, and I was expecting this one to be a graveyard for many people, perhaps even including myself. So this is the track I was the most, the most scared of in this step, and I knew if I survive this, I will most likely keep my points on map 6, because on map 6 I felt good. On map 6 I had a very good pace. So kind of everything was dependent on map 5 on this one. So, uh, let's see. I forgot to mention the bug spot because I'm fucking talking to a wall. So, this dirt turn was added with Mania Planet 4 as well. So, this is another thing with Mania Planet 4. Mania Planet 4 introduced the checkpoint thing that I mentioned earlier. It introduced a big influx of mid-road bugs for whatever reason on various surfaces, including dirt... So, especially this long 3x3 dirt block, which is supposedly flat. It is very flat. It's not as bumpy as the other um, as the other dirt blocks. So, this one's very flat. But for some reason, in Saturday's practice session, so yesterday, at the point of this recording, I have gotten five mid-road bugs in one hour on that dirt block which is a new guinness world record for sure and that got me scared because if that happens you are very likely to get sent into the wall so that was fucking scary and that was only one of the reasons why i didn't like the track too much one of the other reasons why i didn't like this track too much as i said once again objectively a very good track but 
This is a very risky track. You have to risk a lot if you want to be fast. And I don't like to risk a lot. I'm not the risky player. Especially in this endurance format. We come up to the, uh, to the identity. The reason why this track is called Zeppelin. We drive on a Zeppelin. And... This landing is extremely difficult to get. Because you need to jump off at a very specific angle. You need to jump off... Uh... Pretty much right after you land. This is like tap and bounce off again. So you need to have the angle and you need to have the correct speed and you need to hit the correct spot. A lot of things that can go wrong and I was not very confident on this Zeppelin bump. But I kinda learned it in the last two days or so. And also in my warm up early in the afternoon I played good on this. So I was like hmm cool. Then you drive again on the Zeppelin and for those who are following the Trickmania Grand League, you might know that some players have gotten mid-road bugs on the Zeppelin, including myself. So sometimes you land on the Zeppelin and your back end pops up and you fly out. That is a risk that you are basically carrying through every single lap. It's really bad and you cannot do anything about it. There is no consistency to these uh, mid-road bugs. I mean, technically, they are consistent. But you don't know when you're gonna get one or not. And just these things make this map fucking scary. Apart from the difficulty of this. But yeah, good lap one. Let's go into lap two. I think I was like fifth. Or something here. So that wasn't too ass. 6, yeah. 0.6 behind, 0.7 behind. I have been told that Papu is wall banging the dirt uphill. Which is a big question mark to me. I don't know if he actually did it here. Um, but yeah. I knew that it was possible, but I... No. He did? Okay. Hop. Bit of a shitty landing. But I made up for it with a low jump through the checkpoint. And also this landing has worked with no trouble. So, despite my initial fear, the first two laps were good. So my confidence was quite high at this point. I was like, okay, just gotta keep going. I have a bit of a gap towards the other players, like to the bottom, to the bottom eight. So I could, you know, afford maybe taking that one or other corner a bit easier. But the biggest issue, of course, if you happen to die at the Zeppelin section, it is a guaranteed 10 plus second time loss. Depends how quickly you react, but you lose a shit ton of time if you die. The drivers at the front are uh, slowly carrying away. They have a better pace in this lap at least. But I'm holding up strong on P5. This was eh, a bit weird, because I landed too far on the right. And ideally, you want to land somewhat centered a bit on the left half of the Zeppelin. Like, you can clearly see the middle line here of the Zeppelin. Ideally, you want to land just to the left of this middle line. If you land too far to the left, you will slide off. You won't get good enough of a bounce. You're not going to make it. If you land too far to the right, the Zeppelin, as you jump further to the left, like, obviously, you're trying to go to the left. So, the elevation of the Zeppelin makes this work as a ramp, sort of. So the Zeppelin works as a ramp. And this is why this one flung me so much higher than the previous bounce. It, it all makes sense when you think about it, but it worked. And as long as you survive that, everything is in the green. And I got up to fourth, so somebody in front has failed. I think it was Kappa. Or... Someone. Yeah, I think it was Kappa. So, fourth! On this track, very cool, like, 
As I said, this map wasn't mine. But it seemed like I had the pace, despite the initial doubts. Next lap incoming. This was a bit wonky. But I saved it. And I got up to third now. Tween has made a mistake. And I'm third now. Only 0.5 behind the leader. So all of a sudden, on my worst map, I was actually in the mix to maybe even win this thing. And that got me really confused. I was like, holy shit, is this real? Is this a bug? Am I really that good on this map? Or rather, in other words, did other people uh, make so many mistakes? That's crazy. No. Analysis. Kowalski, analysis. Why did this happen? Let's look at it again. So. This fucking landing ruined my entire fucking salad. So. This left-hander is where it already started going downhill. I really thought I would make this turn, but then I saw, holy fuck, I'm very wide. Like, you can, you can see I'm very wide. So I had to release in the second half of the turn. Like, I had to release after the bubble. Normally, you release either at the bubble or a little bit before, or you just drifted a little bit, and you're gonna get around the corner, no problem. I went full speed, or almost full speed, with a small release, but the release wasn't enough. So here I noticed, scheiße, I need to go slower. So I released, I think two times. But the problem is that I didn't have enough speed to land on my good spot. So I was too slow. And my fucking vehicle gripped again. Look at it. So too little speed. With more speed, I would have landed on my good spot. All good. But I didn't adjust accordingly. So this is... 100% my mistake, but I just couldn't handle it. Like, I was pr probably flabbergasted by the fact that I got third. So, look at it. Here is where the car, due to the low speed, re-grips on the Zeppelin. And then I noticed, yeah, GG. Bad. Very bad. So I instantly dropped into the red, and I was like, Scheiße. This is it. This step is done. 32 points down the toilet. However, I didn't completely give up. Of course, I was pissed, because, uh, yeah, this map already wasn't good for me. And that third place was too good to be true. So it was a roller coaster of events. I was pissed. And that ninth place is probably a slap in the face as well. However, we're only in lap 5 out of 6, so two more identities left to be passed. And there's a chance that someone in front of me is gonna die, and I could go back in the green. We have had that already. I have capitalized from such a, uh, from such a situation already in one of the previous steps. It has already happened. So, it could happen again. Will it happen though? No, it won't. Because I wanted to go to Ikea and buy myself some new lamps. This is one of my worst mistakes I have done in my last, I don't know, five years of Trekmania competitive. I have no fucking idea when, what went through my mind here. I just completely bla uh, brain farted. I steered too much to the right. And yeah, I don't know, man.
the bad day and th this whole day just keeps going down the fucking toilet. So this mistake threw me back by another like five centuries. And now I joined my countryman revolution for third to last place. Thumbs up skin tone one. So I knew at this point it was over. At this point I knew no way I'm gonna get my points. No way. So you see I play with interface on now. I didn't give a flying fuck anymore. I just wanted to bury myself. I was so pissed man. Of course. I'm safe in the playoffs. Yeah? But still, I don't like making mistakes. And then I also saw Spam died. So Spam joins the club of dead people. And I went up to 10th. So I was like, okay, cool. But I still didn't believe that a lot could happen. That could me could could get me up to 8th or whatever. Like into the green. I didn't believe anymore. So yeah, just wanted to go. Get this home. Big setback. Very, very mad about this second mistake especially. The first one, okay. But the second one... Dude. I almost hit again. Look at it. I'm just so pissed when I make stupid mistakes like these. And look at it, it was only 3.3 seconds to 8th. It wasn't even that much at the end. So if I hadn't made that mistake, I would have been in the green. And this pisses me off even more. It's not only the fact that I made that mistake, that particular mistake, but also the fact that it now also killed my chances of keeping my points. Look at it, man. Three seconds. Three fucking seconds. And I even got ninth! 2.4 seconds! If I didn't go to Ikea, I would have been seventh! Or maybe even... Sixth? Fucking bullshit. So yeah, buy points. One of the rare occasions where I lose my points. I usually uh, don't lose my points. But today it happened. Second time. But this time on a slightly bigger scale. So uh, yeah, there you go. Negative 32 for me. Negative 43 for spam. I think he is also very happy about this. He did the same mistake like me, by the way. On the Zeppelin. And then died another time. Right after that. On the Zeppelin. Because no speed. Massa. Dead. Coco. Dead. Revel. Dead. Roland. Dead. Papu wins with an 828. Which is a good time. Um... But yeah, when you look at this gap, everyone has made a mistake somewhere except Twoon. Uh, tw uh, tw <laughs> <laughs> except Papu and Tween. Um, so yeah, third place was... I, th I, I think third place would have been doable for everyone. But yeah, that's kind of what I predicted. This map is going to be a graveyard. And it ended up being one. So yeah, Papu, 90 points. This is big. Tween with 60 gets second. Bren recovers from the point loss. He has gotten a third here. Aurel on 4. Kappa on 5. Pack on 6. Scrappy on 7. Keeps his 44 points as well. Matt gets some points on 8th. And the red people are bad at this game. All right, one more map to go. And with me losing my points, 
I did not give a fuck anymore. So I went full risk. I went full risk for this map now. Because I only had 5 points. I, I don't need these 5 points anymore. I'm safe in the playoffs anyway. And on this map I actually uh, did have a very good pace. I was consistent and I was kind of um, confident that I'm going to do well. Because I didn't really do too many mistakes in my practice sessions anymore. So I was like, okay, if I play risky, could actually work out and maybe get my first map win. And it looked good in the warm-up. I led the warm-up. I was first in the warm-up. Uh, so yeah. For one of the first, or maybe the first time ever in the Grand League, I actually went into a map with a full winning mindset. I just wanted to win this map. I didn't want to fucking safe. I just wanted to go for it. So very important to land in the slope, get the upper gear before the transition, speed slide on the dirt to the left, and uh, that makes up for quite a good time already. And good start. I was first, exactly what I wanted. So the risk in the beginning paid off. So I was first. Let's keep going. This left-hander, I uh, slide into it and then transition into a little speed slide. That is, in my eyes, the best one, the best idea or the best thing you can do. Zigzagoon around. And I was 0.3 ahead. Coming up to the identity now. Which is very difficult to get right. But I was able to develop a good strategy for myself. So, uh, yeah, basically, what you want to do is land pretty much at the top of the hill. Slow down, hold the brakes to stabilize your car. And then here at this drop, or rather at this entire section, you have multiple... You have multiple options. You can go for the safe line and just go around the poles. Just drift around the poles and stay on the track. That's one thing you can do. However, that's a lot slower. So obviously what you want to aim for is the direct jump towards the checkpoint by dropping down into the slope. Um, so you have different like approaches, different ways of landing here. And I decided to land with my front tires. Other drivers are opting to land with their back tires first. But I didn't like that too much. So I developed this, like, my own strategy. A lot of people copied it. But this was my own finding. And I was very confident with it, very comfortable. And it paid off. I was quote-unquote only third, but I knew a lot could happen here. And with my pace, I could win this map. So let's keep going. Good turn to the left. Drifted out too wide, had to release. Also here, my entire angle was fucked and it really killed my speed for the loop. Even turned down cars to see uh, whether someone's gonna overpass me, overtake me, but didn't happen. So I think I still stayed third here, yep. Holding that speed slide wasn't the highest quality speed slide there, but... Usually I catch up to most other players by doing that. That was close. Also here, a very awkward line. Not the one I originally take there, but... It's good. Another one. Landing good. Landing good. Releasing a lot here, just to make sure that I don't hit anything. But as long as you pass these jumps and kind of clear this speed check, as you can see, it is very tight. Um, but as long as you clear all of that, you're good. I was uh, third here, as far as I could see. No, second, behind Aurel. Quite a stunning fight.
and I was willing to push it. Like, as I said, no need to save. There was nothing to save. Popping in. Caught up almost 0.2 with that slide. So that gives you an idea. I was really pushing it here. Really pushing it to Aurel. Masa was behind. Slowing down. To the left. And... That's it. Uh, I don't know what this was. Some uh, acrobatics. But yeah, silly mistake by me. I have not managed to set myself up in a way I wanted to. And I died. So I basically had too much rotation. The way you want to land is that you really want to be aggressive. You, you want to have an aggressive landing when you land in the slope. So you want to land with this tire first. Facing this direction. So you, you see I'm facing like this. I'm almost landing parallel with the slope. And that is just the reason why I flip like this at the landing. You need to land more in this direction. You see, you see my cursor. Like you need to face more like this. So I landed pretty much parallel and yeah, obviously my car is just going to flip. I was hoping to slide into the CP, but I just got stuck and yeah. Then it happened again, full tilt. I wanted to rage quit, but not allowed. So dropping down to uh, 11th place and my race was over. Very nice. But then again... No regrets, because I got nothing to lose anyway. So yeah, very uh, shitty step here. Too many mistakes, didn't feel that good, and everything just stacked on top of each other, so... This is a step to be forgotten on the bright side. Playoffs are still secure, but I'm self-critical and I want to perform good no matter the circumstances. And this was embarrassing, I think. So yeah, nothing will happen here. So I uh, can just skip to the end, like nothing happens. I think I died again, actually. Yeah, I think I made one more mistake, which we can laugh at. Wait. think wait where did i crash yeah here's where i crashed look at it so uh, yeah not the greatest place to crash either because you slow down 40 uphill and you go up in snail speed and i almost drop down to last place very nice So uh, yeah, that's it for uh, Grand League Step 5. I'm not sure if you see the results. I instantly, instantly left the server after I finished. Zack, exit and out of 4. So uh, yeah, that is Step 5 of the Grand League. I got, uh, I don't know how many points. 2, 3, I don't care. Um, but yeah, sucks. Let's just laugh about this and... Look forward to step six and redeem myself for that one.